Good morning. Good morning. It is Friday. It is Friday. It's day five of five of our five-day devotionals that we've been doing for the past three weeks. Distracted. And in the first day, we learned that Lance goes for a run when he needs to hear from God, and then he cools down in the hot tub and starts taking notes on his phone and coming up with some major realizations. And yesterday, we learned that detractors are distractors. So let's wrap up this week. As we close this reading plan up, let's recap. Distractions lead to death. Distraction is a work of the devil. Desperation leads to change. Change takes place at the intersection of awareness and action. Detractors are people, places, and things that get us off our God-given path. So even with all this knowledge, we still need a remedy. It's great to know how distractions can destroy us. But now we begin to distance ourselves from the distractions and move closer to our destiny. How do we do that? It's a simple word that's easy to say, but difficult to embody. Love. Yes, love. Simply love. What I remembered that night on my run and during my cool down time was this. Jesus has given us a command about how to live. We must read it together. But here it is again from Matthew 22. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment, and the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and prophets hang on these two commandments. Loving your neighbor as yourself is your remedy. Our goal in overcoming distractions is to choose the correct action, and according to Jesus, the right action is always love. Love of others and love of yourself. You love yourself by choosing to put yourself in a position to live your best life. You love yourself by surrounding yourself with positive people, not distractors. And not detractors either. <laughs> right. You love yourself by putting yourself in the best places to live free and stay free. Mm. You love yourself by removing things that bring you down and keep you stuck. Loving yourself is the key to staying focused and not living distracted. Loving your neighbor as yourself means it's okay to walk away from people who don't want what God has planned for you, who want to keep you stuck in the land of distractions. Jesus clearly told us to love. Love is always our response. But love can mean walking away even when it's necessary. Love means loving yourself and God enough to stay on mission and to lose the detractors that lead to distraction. Mm -hmm. How will you love yourself past distractions? How will you love others in the fulfillment of your destiny? How will you live a life of love? Focus up. Love yourself. Lay aside the distractions. Your calling is worth it. Because distractions lead to death. And love leads to life. Amen. Mm-hmm. And Matthew twenty-two thirty-four through 40. Hearing that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, the Pharisees got together. One of them, an expert in the law, tested him with this question. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? And Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. And let's finish up our Samson story in Judges 16. Now the rulers of the Philistines assembled to offer great sacrifice to Dagon, their god, and to celebrate, saying, Our god has delivered Samson, our enemy, into our hands. When the people saw him, they praised their god, saying, Our god has delivered our enemy into our hands, and one who has laid waste to our land and multiplied our slain. While they were in high spirits, they shouted, Bring out Samson to entertain us. So they called Samson out of the prison, and he performed for them. When they stood him among the pillars, Samson said to the servant who held his hand, Put me where I can fill the pillars that support the temple, so that I may lean against them. Now the temple was crowded with men and women. All the rulers of the Philistines were there. 
and on the roof were about three thousand men and women watching Samson perform. Then Samson prayed to the Lord, Sovereign Lord, remember me, please. Please, God, strengthen me just once more, and let me, with one great blow, get revenge on the Philistines for my two eyes. Then Samson reached toward the two central pillars on which the temple stood. Bracing himself against them, his right hand on one side and his left hand on the other, Samson said, Let me die with the Philistines. And then he pushed with all his might, and down came the temple and the rulers and all the people in it. Thus he killed many more when he died than when he lived. Then his brothers and his father's whole family went down to get him. They brought him back and buried him between Zorah and Estal in the tomb of Manoah, his father. He had led Israel for 20 years. Samson was definitely about revenge. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't like detractors. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for Lance Lang, and especially for your word, God's word, your word, Lord. Thank you for your son. Thank you for the way, the truth, and the life. Hmm. Lord, you are everything. And now we know that you also bring us wisdom on a daily basis if we do as promised and stay in your word. Lord, thank you for the scriptures. Thank you for the stories that we've heard, and thank you for this devotional. We hope that we and our listeners gain something from this this week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. The ordered one too many deal at McDonald's. But luckily for you... Whoa, is that McDonald's? There's always someone around. And you got extras? To help take it off your plate. Yeah, I like some. Right now, enjoy our $9.99 bundle featuring 20-piece crispy chicken McNuggets and two medium orders of our world-famous fries. Only at McDonald's. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba.